Welcome to another episode of SugiTube. It's January 22nd, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Bitcoin and Ethereum price, as well showing you guys my open positions on both those pairs, and also showing you how I'll be playing them from here. I'm seeing things in the chart patterns that are showing a lighter side of things, a lot more bullish than a lot of people are thinking, and may get caught off guard. So if that sounds good to you guys, smash that thumbs up, subscribe, and with that, let's get it. Alright, so starting things off on Bitcoin's 4 hour chart here, I had pointed out this green support box in yesterday's video and I had mentioned that there was a very dangerous possibility that we were in a descending triangle. However, what happened guys is we never did get a candle body close below my yellow line here which I was pointing out and we got right back up above it, this bit of a fake out wick and closed a green candle body above that line and in my opinion that was going to be very bullish. I actually even tweeted about it so follow me on Twitter if you don't already. I was talking about that four hour descending triangle. Uh, if the four hour candle closes or if it can close green above the yellow line I'll assume that we will be in some sort of a falling wedge pattern instead of the fall, uh, descending triangle. And uh, that's kind of what started happening, guys. That was live analysis right there, and that's exactly how it played out. That candle body closed green above that yellow line, and things flipped bullish, in my opinion. So I did actually end up entering a uh, 10x leverage trade at about 31,000. And uh, so far, so good, guys. I'll show you exactly how I'm going to be uh, playing it from here. But first, I just want to stay on the four hour chart here and point out a couple other things. So for one, since these candle bodies were closing inside my green box, anything that was closing in this green box, I was considering a bit of a double bottom because it was in, within the wicks of this previous uh, market swing, we'll say, that I ended up playing perfectly as well. Uh, you guys will remember that I was posting about it. Uh, so I was kind of watching for that sort of behavior with a bullish RSI divergence. We never really got the bullish divergence but we did get some sort of a double bottom along this green line on the RSI and also yesterday's video I had pointed out that I do take the RSI being oversold very seriously in such a uh, strong uptrend and just look every time we get the RSI touching that green line just in the oversold territory um, you can see that that's absolutely where Bitcoin starts to take off for now. Obviously, it's still very early to say. I have already locked in some beautiful profits on my trade and my stop losses are above break even. It's actually in a profit. I'll show you about that on a smaller time frame, uh, but can't lose on that position. So that's great to see. But those are just a few things I was looking at in the chart. Um, now what I'm really expecting, I mean, even this very micro yellow downward trend line guys look how perfectly we're respecting it right now as a bit of a support flip one thing about that is we do only have the two touch points here so i don't know how valid that line is obviously very micro but just something to consider that it is kind of trying to respect it already um, even if we got some sort of a bounce and then fell back down to the green box once again and maybe then have some sort of a bullish divergence on the RSI, uh, that's something that could play out too. And in that case, I would probably be stopped out, but I would be looking to re-enter a trade if I got some sort of a, another double bottom or consider it a triple bottom along that green box, whatever, depending how the RSI looks and that sort of stuff. So that's just kind of how I'm watching it from here. Um, or maybe right from here, guys, we'll just end up blasting off and testing the upside of this wedge again. Um, that would be absolutely beautiful in my opinion because I would love another touch point on there before breaking out and then getting a support flip and carrying on from there. Um, I do have very bullish targets as far as this market cycle goes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the link in the description below. Uh, my very... Uh, macro analysis, uh, very bullish targets. They sound a little crazy, but there is a lot of theories backing them up and that sort of stuff. So check that out if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, so in my opinion, I don't think, I kind of didn't really think this was going to end up playing out like a descending triangle. And that's why I was watching for this wedge, because I don't think this cycle is done. Not that a four hour descending triangle would have to be the end, but it would definitely be a decent pullback, which absolutely could happen. But 
just the way the trend has been so strong and uh, with so many big players buying so much Bitcoin and liquidity on exchanges is getting so low and that's why prices are getting so volatile both directions. A bit of a supply uh, shortage which I've talked about in the past. Um, but in my opinion, I would not be surprised if this ended up being a bullish wedge which would just make the market continue to the upside. And even uh, let's say that it doesn't happen that quickly, even if we get out of this wedge and then form some sort of a double top in this general area, somewhere uh, beside all time highs, I uh, could even make a bit of a resistance box, probably something like this, make that red, uh, might have some sort of a resistance zone there which could give us a little bit of trouble on the way and we have to test it a few times, maybe form some sort of a bigger consolidation pattern. That's all very possible, guys. We'll have to uh, be smart about it, obviously taking profits along the way when I'm taking trades and that sort of stuff. So always protect yourself uh, from just getting rid of all of the profits that you've made in this bull market, right, guys? Don't. Uh, it's more important to protect your profits than to uh, make new trades. Don't FOMO into anything that isn't lining up the way you like it. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. Always do your own research and form your own opinions. I'm just showing you what I'm doing here. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know uh, it, what you think down below. If you agree with what I'm saying, if you disagree, let me know why. Uh, and also, one more time, if you could smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you do appreciate this content, that would be absolutely lovely. Uh, with that, let's jump over to my 15-minute chart on Bitcoin. Take a look at my open position, shall we? So on the 15-minute chart, you can see here I entered that trade around 31,000. Uh, now what I'm kind of looking at, guys, is there is this bit of an ascending triangle. Yes, it's a micro pattern. I'm not sure if it'll play out, but that would be a beautiful measured move uh, if we got that full move from the breakout point. And we even did have this retest. We actually got quite a few retests there. Uh, the target would be around 35,000. I'm going to say 300 just to go a little shy of uh, my breakout measured move there. But uh, that would be an absolutely beautiful move to if... That's why I'm keeping some of my position open. You can see here that I have locked in some profits along the way. Both of these points, I took 20% uh, of my original position off the table. And I am going to lock in the rest of my position if we drop down uh, just below 31,000. Uh, 800 I believe it is and just uh, one thing is that would be breaking down back into the triangle that I was looking at as well we would be dropping below the 382 Fibonacci line so at that point I would just want to lock in my position and I have a looser stop loss on my Ethereum position anyways so I'll still have one open and I'll jump over into that uh, first thing I will hop over to Ethereum's four hour chart here so with Ethereum, I'm actually watching a bit bigger of a range between these purple lines here. You can see I entered a trade somewhere just down here. It was around 1,061 US dollars, I believe it was. I'll zoom in and show you guys that too. But uh, for now, I'm watching how this red resistance trend line plays out. Uh, once again, I would love to see a third touch point and then get some sort of a break above and then retest uh, the top of this purple channel again. And that would bring us, if it happens relatively soon, that would bring us near that 1500 US dollar mark. Uh, that would be absolutely beautiful to see. And then from there, we'll have to see what happens. And this is all theoretical, of course, but will we end up testing back down to the bottom of this channel? Or are we just going to break above this line, retest it as support and absolutely explode? And you guys know from my emergency Ethereum video how I feel about it right now. I'm very bullish on Ethereum. And that's because it had broke out of a three year long pattern uh, compared to Bitcoin, not even compared to the US dollar. So in my opinion, it actually has quite a bit of strength. So I would not uh, really be too surprised if we do end up crushing through those levels and really even testing upwards of 2000 US dollars would not really surprise me. So it'd be absolutely great to catch some sort of a leverage position up to there, guys. So if I hop over to my 15 minute chart with Ethereum, uh, back here is kind of where I was pointing out on Twitter that I was going to be entering a trade, uh, playing a new Ethereum long. However, I'm willing to update my stop to break even at the site of any potential rejections just because uh, the markets were looking quite bearish yesterday, obviously. If we get back above the green line I outlined in my previous video, I'll get quite bullish again. And that's exactly what we had, you guys. We got above this green line 
Uh, I did have some take profits set here because I wasn't sure if this uh, green line was going to hold again. So you can see here that I entered my trade down here about 1060, took some profits here at around 1140. But when we got this double bottom and perfectly on my green trend line again, and if you guys watched my previous video, um, I had pointed out this green downward sloping trend line and how I was very interested in how we interact with that. So that's it zoomed right in there. Uh, perfectly respecting it. I mean, absolutely beautiful to see. So at that point, I added to my position and I am now at an average entry of, uh, I think it was 1110 approximately. Uh, so that is my new average entry. I'm not down here anymore, but uh, beautiful position either way um, from where we are right now. That Ethereum long is currently sitting at about, uh, it's a 10x. Um, so close to 100% somewhere in there. Uh, you can see here that I had also taken profits along the way, as I love to do. And I have adjusted my stop loss with the rest of my position to break even, so I can't lose on this position. Uh, the reason for my stop loss way down here, just because I am hoping that this position rides and I have locked in such beautiful profits already. And I wouldn't mind staying below the 618 uh, Fibonacci line. I think that could definitely uh, provide some support if we do drop to that. And if we got some sort of a double bottom, I would consider adding to my position again. But we'll have to see how the charts and indicators look when that, when and if that happens. Um, I do think there is room for us to drop to the downside just because even on the 15 minute, our RSI hasn't even uh, dropped down to this oversold, just flirting with oversold conditions hasn't happened yet. Same with my momentum indicator. It never really did come down into contact with this green box. Yes, it's showing a potential bullish pivot point, but uh, just not exactly where I want it to. I'm willing to keep my positions open. Uh, but not willing to add right now is basically all I'm getting at. So anyways, guys, I think that's all I have to talk about to you guys today. If you appreciate this content, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, share this content with a friend if you do find it helpful or if you think someone else will find it helpful. I couldn't appreciate it more. Thank you so much for tuning in. With that, have a great weekend, guys. Stay safe out there. I'm out. Peace.